Hello, all you flight servers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and we are back on the uh, Bush Trip Interstate 5 uh, by uh, Perfect Flight, and we are working on part two, and we're going to finish the final leg of part two today. Uh, it's going to be going from uh, Roseburg down to Ashland, and we're, so we're going to be covering Grants Pass, Myrtle Creek, Bedford, and then landing in, in Ashland. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and get this started. Once I'm in the cockpit and ready to fly, uh, I'll uh, catch back up with you all. Okay, I am in the cockpit ready to go. And we're going to hop out real quick and just so you can kind of see what the uh, area looks like. So if we kind of scroll around, you can see we're going to be in bit more mountainous terrain today so we're going to be going up to 5500 foot elevation and uh but we still should get a really nice view of the uh, scenery so let's hop back in uh our flaps are set i've got the elevation set uh we are facing north so we're going to have to be uh we're going to fly up and then turn around and then come back down this way and we're going to cross the rogue river uh, so, uh, let's, uh, go ahead and, uh, get this thing started. And again, she's going to tell me that I've got my brake on, which is okay. Here we go. Okay, let's take off. And here we go. All right. So we'll get up and clear these guys up here. And then we can start uh, making our turn back around. So let's uh, get that out of the way so we can see where we're going. After takeoff, cross the South Umpqua River and continue in the direction of the nearby Green. It is a small town part of the Roseburg Micropolitan Area. And... Should be just about turned around here. So let's uh, go ahead and set our autopilot. There and there, and that should do it. We're gonna start swinging around. And we should see our airport that we just took off from right there. So, uh, should be a uh, very enjoyable flight. Now, she just uh, talked about uh, after takeoff that uh, we will be uh, crossing the Umpqua, uh, the South Umpqua River, which is right here. And we're going to be heading in this direction. And again, as I can identify these, I'm going to... Oh, and we need to pull up our flap. There we go. Uh, and so as I try to identify these, I will uh, kind of look for them. Some of these are a little bit more difficult. And so uh, I don't have a clear full picture of this one. So we should be flying. We're going to be flying right along here. And if you can kind of see the river. So there's the river below us. So I'll uh, just kick back and let you guys enjoy the flight.
continue southward. Pass Round Prairie and reach Myrtle Creek, another small town in Douglas County, Oregon, in the United States. Myrtle Creek has a rich history dating back to the mid-1800s, when it was founded as a mining and lumber town. The town hosts several annual events and festivals, including the Myrtle Creek Summer Festival and the Myrtle Creek Tri-City Area Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade. So this area right here that you see below us is this area coming in here. That's that little mound right there. I think that's that mound right there. I'm flying a little bit higher than what uh, uh, they were flying through here. Uh, I'm flying it just because I know that the elevation is a little bit higher. So we're going to be crossing some areas. And she should be speaking here pretty quick, I believe. After about five miles, you are on Canyonville. The city is close to the Umpqua National Forest and is home of some popular attractions such as Seven Feathers Casino Resort, which offers gaming entertainment and dining options. Another notable landmark in the area is the Canyonville Pioneer Museum and the historic Myrtle Creek Covered Bridge. Now I believe this picture right here is coming up right up over here, so keep an eye out for that. I believe this uh, spot right here is this spot right down here. Uh, you can see the overpass and the roads that are coming off of it and that little open patch right there. Uh, we should be making a turn, matter of fact. We are. And she should be speaking. and reach Cow Creek, a small community located in Douglas County near the town of Riddle. 
The Cow Creek Band of the Umpqua Tribe of Indians also has a reservation in the area. One of the main attractions in Cow Creek is the Cow Creek Trail, which offers a scenic hike through the forest and along the creek. The trail is well maintained and offers a moderate level of difficulty making it accessible to hikers of all skill levels. And I believe that is uh, going to be up in this area right here. I think we should be... Uh, here we go. Uh, kind of watch. I think we're coming around about right here. So... Uh, I-5 kind of turns off this way, and I believe we're going to be turning right in here, and I believe this is where it's at on the picture. Here we're starting to make our turn. Continue southward over Sunny Valley, heading for Grants Pass seat of Josephine County. The city is situated on the Rogue River. Grants Pass has a historic downtown area with shops, restaurants, and art galleries. The city is home to Rogue Community College and the Grants Pass School District. Okay, and we will be seeing that when we get up here. We've got a little ways to go here, so uh, kind of enjoy the flight here through the uh, mountains. And that is the Rogue River <clears throat> right below us right through here. So we're going to be flying along here. Uh, matter of fact, that would have been Grants Pass behind us. And so I do know that the Rogue River, or at least was back in the day, the Rogue River and the Umpqua and some of these uh, rivers down here in uh, southern southwestern Oregon uh, were very good steelhead and trout fishing rivers and I believe they even had a little bit some salmon runs as well uh, I, and if uh, memory serves me correctly they were wild rivers and I think they still are so there was no dams or anything put on these rivers so uh, very natural uh, scenic rivers and a very popular place that uh, uh, 
fishermen would uh, come to travel to, to to fish these rivers. Valley and reach Medford, nestled in the Rogue Valley. It is the fourth largest city in Oregon and is known for its beautiful natural scenery, mild climate, and vibrant cultural scene. Medford is home to a number of parks and recreational areas, including the Bear Creek Greenway, which offers a scenic trail for walkers, joggers, and bikers. And you can see that uh, it is a fairly uh, metropolis, uh, po uh, fairly large city down here in uh, Southern Oregon. So we'll be flying, it's up in that area right there. So as we get a little bit closer, uh, I'm gonna need to be coming down in elevation. And she has uh, one more uh, narration and that's our uh, where we're gonna be landing is in the uh, Ashland Municipal uh, Airport. That's uh, Medford Airport right below us. The airport has a single runway and offers services such as fueling aircraft maintenance and hangar rentals. It is primarily used for general aviation purposes, including private and corporate flights, as well as flight training and recreational flying. The airport is operated by the city of Ashland and has a small terminal building with limited amenities. Okay, we are about 15 uh, nautical miles out, and uh, here is our airport. We're going to be landing from this direction. We're, we're coming from there, and we're going to be landing down into through there. So, let me minimize this and check something here in the cockpit. We are... About four minutes to our uh, destination. So we'll fly out here just a little bit longer. And then I'm going to have to go into the cockpit and start uh, getting ready to land. I think it is about time to get into the cockpit. Let's see how far out we are. Uh, we are about seven miles out. And there's our airport right there. So let's uh, start uh, slowing this thing down. And let's get a flap down.
And let's, uh, all right, we're getting slow enough. Let's get a second flap. All right, and then we can turn our flight director off and take over. And let's see if we can kind of get lined up here. Make sure we don't stress the airplane out. We do have to get down in elevation here. I have been along I-5 down through here once or twice in my life a long time ago. I do remember that this was just, this part of Southern Oregon was just a really really beautiful area and as you can see by the uh, landscape and stuff that's around here the mountains uh, it it is just a, a really nice area one of the things I do remember and she didn't mention it uh, they used to hold a Shakespeare festival down here in Ashland and, and I don't know if they still do that or not but uh, it was uh, quite the uh, uh, quite the festival. Uh, drew a lot of people coming into the area. All right, let's focus on uh, landing here. See, it's a little bit of a challenge coming into this airport. You've got uh, hills and stuff uh, that you've got to got to keep. Uh, mindful of. Our speed down. And see if we can get lined up here on the airport. So we're, we are, you can see a little hill here that it drops over. And lights say we are in pretty good shape. We might be a little high. But we're in the 208, so it's not going to be a problem. Okay, here we go. Roll back. And we're down. Hit our brakes. Uh, we'll turn out at the next one. I can't remember. I thought there was another one right up here. Yeah, right here. All right. And remember, this thing does not turn on a dime turns on uh, the size of a dollar bill, I think, actually. So let's uh, just kind of cruise right on in here, and we will uh, pull over to a stop right here. Yeah, it should complete this leg. There we go. Completed. Leg completed. And that also completes part two uh, the state of Oregon. So our next episode or our next leg uh, will be the first leg of California and we'll be leaving from Ashland here. And I don't remember 
uh, what airport we're going to be flying to. But we'll cover all of that in the next episode. All right, all you flight simmers out there, if you like this episode, please hit that thumbs up. Uh, it really helps out the video a lot. And please subscribe. That'll really help the channel. And uh, ring that bell. It'll let you know when I am uh, uploading new videos. And I'm doing that on a weekly basis. Okay, all you flight simmers out there, keep flying away and keep those smooth landings coming. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.